Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is John Rambo. So, uh, it is about 7.24 in the morning. I don't know if you can see that. I'm using my glasses cam. Uh, so I decided I was going to walk to the range this morning. Um, I'm carrying my, my newest bug out bag, which has my budget blaster in it and everything I'm going to need at the range. I've got now, you know, in the winter time, I have a tendency to put on weight and not do a lot of exercise. Uh, fall of the year and early winter, I'm still hunting, but a lot of the winter, I'm sitting around in the house and putting on weight over the holidays. Yesterday, I ate about four times yesterday on Easter there. But uh, yeah, I decided. Walk to the range, it's about a three mile walk one way. Uh, my, that bug up bag I was telling you about, I got the budget blaster in. Uh, it does have a belly band, it doesn't have a chest band. I wish it had a chest band. That'd, I may rig one up somehow later on. But, uh, I got about 25 pounds of weight in the bug up bag. So. So I'm gonna try to do some final testing on the budget blaster now that I got the receiver wobble out. So if uh, I can't get to zero with iron sights, or if I can't get the group with iron sights to 100 yards, I'm probably gonna mount a scope on it and see if I can get some better results. I guess I actually should do a mallard update. Uh, I hadn't done one. Uh, I had I actually had two two of my mallards die when it was in the box and out building. I don't know why, but uh, two of them had died. I moved them outside, and I made a grizzly discovery this morning. Uh, uh, something had reached through the wire and killed one. Uh, it looked like it, it bit its head off. Um, I think I, I think it was probably a coon because I've got game cam pictures of coons in the area. So, uh, so I'm gonna have to do something about the coon population around my house at night. So. <sighs> All right. Um, here in the past year or two, my uncle, he bought this wooded land, not the field, but he bought everything to the left of the field. And he owns this up here, so I'll be hunting it too next year probably. There he is now. <laughs> no, that's not mine. I thought it was. Uh, anyway, so yeah, my uncle bought some more wooded land. So I'll be able to hunt in my hunting horizons. So, he's got an excavator up here for some reason. Looks like, but this he uh, got this house with it. Mm -mm. Uncle, he's a pretty sharp businessman. He uh, what he done? He bought one house and some land once, and uh, he separated the house and sold the house separately. And the price of the house pretty much, you know, paid for a whole lot of the land. I was, that's what he's probably going to do with this house, I believe. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that little white house in front of me, but that's it. So. All right. Uh, might talk to you some more when I get to the range. Ah, what's up, YouTube? I'm back. I don't show this in my videos much, but there's an acre and a half of wooded property right here that I own this acre and a half right here. You got quite a bit of road frontage. Uh, just never have done anything with it. 
a long time ago I wanted to build a house up here, but ended up buying one, still building one. Still got the land. Thought about someday uh, turn it into a pistol range or close quarter battle range or something. Anyway, I'm close to the shooting range now. But Alright, I'm sure you tell I'm out of shape, I can barely talk. I cleared the driveway out there some last year when I get my big truck up in there. And my land road frontage runs to a big tree right there. All right, just in case y'all didn't know what bag I was referring to, it's this one. It has my budget blaster in it. I try to stop. Get down. There it is. So, I'm gonna eat me an MRE, drink me a Dr. Prepper. I'm gonna do some shooting, head back toward the house. I got some other projects at home I gotta try to do today. Alright YouTubers, so I'm working on the budget blaster. It's still shooting pretty big groups, I think, for a hundred yards. Maybe other people don't think, but uh, here was my last group where the fives are. And then there was one up here. I've actually been adjusting the sight some uh most of my groups been over here to the right i mean I, I still haven't shot a great group this morning even though i tightened up the receiver uh tightened up that receiver wobble but that ain't, that ain't too bad a little is better than it was i think uh i'm gonna fire a few more times and i may start my walk back it's Three mile walk back, take me about an hour probably. Alright, I'm out of here.